Star Stable is the largest MMO horse game currently on the market. It is mainly aimed at kids with avatars that resemble children, events that are kid-friendly, cute ponies, pretty colors, and a chat room so filthy it will make a marine blush. In the last week or so, players on the Star Stable server Nightstar have been posting a lot of unsavory and disgusting posts, ranging from racist to sexual. All of this has sparked a new conversation on the moderation state of Star Stable's chat filters and keeping children safe online. Star Stable has few, if any, human moderators. Their main chat moderation comes from an AI system called the Utopia AI Moderator that filters out certain words and bans people for using those words too many times. But this has never worked the way it should and makes it possible for kids and grown-ups alike to say stuff like this openly. A lot of players are now demanding some form of human moderation, going so far as to open petitions, others asking for the entire removal of the chat system, and others feel like it's really up to the parents to educate their kids. In all of this fiasco, Star Stable did make a response of sort, although this did little to appease anyone, as this post was removed only a few days later. In this video, we'll be getting into the response, the state of the chat, and what exactly is copper, and if there is anything SSO can or will do. But before we do, I would like to thank my co Five supporters for being more awesome than Swamp Thing Season 2. I am still sour about this. Let's get into it. Before the current AI, Star Stable did have human moderation. In 2015, Star Stable started a human chat moderation team that was led by Stacy Place. This team consisted of 14 to 16 year olds who would essentially sit on the game for around 1 to 4 hours, moderating chat by warning, kicking, and muting players who were being unruly or, well, unsavory. The moderators had very little power, but they could, in theory, contact someone in SSO to have a player banned if things got too difficult. In this case, it was Stacy Place, who was in charge of this program. But rare did her job according to these moderators, and so the players often got away with their behavior. On top of that, the moderator team never really worked well. Because they didn't have any sort of relay system in place, there were hours upon hours where no moderators were in the chat, meaning players could say what they wanted during those times with no repercussions again. Even worse, moderator bullies were prevalent, and these moderators abused their power and made the lives of players difficult, and even made the lives of other moderators difficult. When this was reported, to Stacey Place, very little was done once again. Now, all of this was covered in the Ambassador video Daniela Moonstar and myself did in 2022. I'll leave a link for it in the description below if you want to learn more. But the point of all of this is that SSO did have moderators in the chat rooms at one point, but it all fell apart due to poor management and just the fact that, that these kids were just too young, which resulted in terrible conduct from some of these mods. But all of this came to a head on the 1st of July in 2019, when a 12-year-old girl was abducted in Rotterdam by an American man who allegedly met this girl on Star Stable. In the same year, there was a man in Sweden charged with 84 accounts of uh, <laughs> playground tendencies. In November of the same year, Stacy Place released an email to the moderators saying they were disbanding the moderator team and they would reinstate it in the future. She further stated that a lawyer had told them they were not compliant with COPPA because the existence of the moderator moderators in Star Stable had not been shared with parents, so the entire moderator team was shut down to comply with COPPA and the GDPR, even though the simple solution would have been to just declare the moderators, as they did in, in the actual information for parents section. There! Right there, Star Stable! There! There. Star Stable added AI chat moderation to their game in 2020, and according to their page, they use a specific AI moderation system called Utopia AI Moderator. And this is the description on the webpage for Utopia AI. Utopia AI Moderator is a fully automated moderation tool that protects your online community and your brand from abusive user-generated content, fraud, cyberbullies, and spam. It learns from the publishing decisions your human moderators made previously, works in real time with a higher degree of accuracy when compared to humans." End quote. So, in very brief, the AI learns via information it has been given from the human moderators. It is fully automated and needs minimal, if any, intervention to fulfill its function. Now, there are human moderators also part of the system, and Star Stable confirms this on the Information for Parents page. How we maintain a pleasant and safe environment. The system is based on machine learning technology, works in real time and understands the semantic meaning of sentences in any language, and reported content is checked by human moderators. 
This is critical because an AI, well, this type of AI, continuously needs new information to know what it can allow and what it cannot allow. After all, the AI learns from the actions of the human moderators and adjusts accordingly. I'll cover the nuance of AI a little bit later. This is just the basis for how it gets information and how it uses that information. Two other points I'd like to bring up before we move into the actual chat logs are the terms and conditions and COPPA. In this section, how do I know my child is safe in the game? They say the following. We take the safety of our players very seriously and we always make sure to take special precautions to create a fun and safe environment for everyone. Star Stable adheres to the strict requirements set forth by Privo, an independent third-party organization committed to safeguarding children's personal information collected online. The Privo certification seal posted on our website indicates that Star Stable has established Children's Online Privacy Protection Act COPPA compliant privacy practices. Hugger. End quote. The reason specifically why COPPA is mentioned is because Star Stable caters to a younger audience. As quoted from this article from their website, Star Stable is a massively multiplayer online role-playing game MMORPG targeted at girls aged 8 to 18. End quote. COPPA's goal is to ensure the safety of children's information and privacy online under the age of 13. The reason why I point this out is because a lot of people point to COPPA as a sort of reason why the chat room should be better monitored. As stated here, COPPA is not there to ensure the safety of your children in chat rooms. So long as the information given to SSO by these kids are kept safe and no personal information is being directly shared in the chat or otherwise, they are technically complying with COPPA. So they're good in that regard. As for the terms and conditions, there's a lot going on here, but we're going to specifically look at section 12, where they outline what you're allowed and not allowed to say in the game. So obscene and or vulgar language, using of offensive or inappropriate words, using lead, elite, lead speak or any other such methods of subverting or circumventing Star Stable's chat filter in order to display vulgar, offensive, explicit or otherwise inappropriate language in the chat. Number three, sexually explicit and or dating related content. Users shall not take part in any dating related conversations with other users and or throw an in-game event looking for a boyfriend girlfriend solicit or participate in any kind of cyber sex or any other similar activities discuss or suggest sexual activities. Number seven, hate speech. Users shall not promote racial, ethnic or national hatred. Use racial, ethnic or national slur referred to a symbol of racial, ethnic or national hatred. You get the idea. I'm not going to read through the entire thing or we'll be here all day, but this should give you a baseline of what Star Stable promises and what is allowed and what is not. They promise to keep your children safe via this chat AI. And secondly, they outline precisely what is allowed and what is not. With this in mind, we can now take a look at the chat rooms themselves, what is going on, and what is potentially going wrong with the AI. And also, why is an SSO doing jack shit about this? In certain servers of the game, global chat has become a complete mess. Players have been able to post anything from explicit to racist messages and have also engaged in um, explicit role plays in both the global and in secret where no one can see them. This will be important for later. Now, this has been happening in other language servers as well. Star Stable is available in 14 different languages after all. But the German servers are quite infamous. In January of this year, Sword Horses, a club on the German server and roleplay community, was called out for engaging in ERPs or explicit role plays on the server. These role plays also extended into Discord, but many of these ERPs were being played out on Star Stable Online. This had been happening in club discussions where they could engage in sexual plays in private. And as you can see, these messages were not being censored at all. But as seen by these posts on Reddit, these types of discussions and behavior is nothing new for Star Stable. Over a year ago, a parent had reviewed the game and stated the following. Star Stable Online is putting your children in danger. The game is horribly unsafe. There are people role-playing porn, known as breeding RPs. You can give out your full address in the game. On top of that, using grammatically incorrect spelling of swear words, you are able to get around their chat filters to swear or even be able to take part in these pornographic role plays. Sword Horses would be called out and completely shut down. But this is, of course, only after all of this came to light. A quick check into the history of Reddit posts, we can see a lot of players complaining about the lack of filter in the global chat, showing numerous examples of players not only boycotting the filters, but even using the supposedly forbidden words outright with no filter. The other problem that has popped up is the moderation is simply too restrictive, where players can barely say anything at all. 
and discussions are so censored one can barely figure out what the other is saying. It further creates problems when the AI flags your messages as problematic and possibly results in bans for one reason or another. This has happened before, which just makes me wonder how many human moderators do you guys really have? But despite all of these clear problems in their chat, Starstable has never really addressed these issues, opting instead for making anti-bullying campaigns but not really talking about these atrocious discussions in their chat rooms. To be fair, a post was made in October of 2022 trying to alleviate player concerns over the state of their chat rooms and explaining how exactly their AI and chat system works. This did little to appease people because the problems haven't gone away as proven by the current situation. On the 29th of May, Reddit users would start sharing posts on the Nightstar server complaining concerning two individuals who were, to put it simply, abusing the chat system. They taunted players, bypassed the filter, and this continued for days before anything was really done about it. Here are some examples of the type of stuff that they were posting, and as you can see, it's not exactly child-friendly. Now, Nightstar is very well known for having ERPs, openly hateful discussions, and even players using slurs on occasion. The server has managed to retain this reputation for years with very little being done until now, sort of. A couple of days later, Star Stable would finally, after years of this going on, address the situation. And this is what they had to say. Hey, Star Fam! We're aware of the unpleasant behavior in the in-game chat, and we are sorry to see this in your Vic, which should be a safe space for all players. We appreciate everyone who reported this. Action has been taken, and we'll keep investigating. If you see anyone breaking the rules or TNC, please contact our support team. Now, now this is wonderful and all, except for one teeny tiny problem, Star Stable. You have no report button in-game and your customer service sucks. The customer service of SSO was notoriously crap. You can't change your email. If anything breaks in-game, you're on your own. And as a thought forbid, anything disappears because you will not get it back. Entire stables have disappeared in this game, with little more response than a shrug from SSO. We even have players falling into debt due to bugs, and the chances that they actually read your emails is slim to none, because we have people reporting hacking that get banned because they reported the hacking. It's absolutely amazing. You gotta love SSO, but the fact that we can't properly report is actually a huge problem for the moderating system and, of course, the AI. I'm going to preface this by saying I am not an AI expert by any stretch of the imagination. This is just very rudimentary and simplistic way to explain AI, which is a very complex concept in of itself. So if I do get anything wrong, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. Now, I'm going to explain the AI because I need to explain the AI to explain what the problem is. Now, the type of AI they are using cannot function without a proper report system in place because it learns from human moderation, as stated before. That constant input tells it directly what it needs to filter out in the chats. But let me explain this a little bit more clearly. An AI moderator learns how to moderate specifically via NLP or natural language processing, which is, and I quote, natural language processing or NLP combines computational linguistics, rule-based modeling, of human language with statistical and machine learning models to enable computers and digital devices to recognize, understand, and generate text and speech. In a far more simple term, NLP helps AI to understand and use our language and learn how to moderate it. It's a very simplistic way to state it, but that's what it comes down to. It learns the language and then learns from us what we want to do with it with that information. So what all of this means is that the more information the AI has with how your team handles bans and how the language works and what words SSO consider inappropriate, the more accurate and refined the AI will become. But this is all based on what has come before. You feed the information into the AI, it creates a sort of algorithm to learn and understand your language, and voila, it can filter out the word f And the reason why you need to continuously add information is because language is continuously evolving. An example of language evolving is the terms lime or lemon in fanfiction. A very long time ago in yonder years, lemon was a way to describe fanfictions that were very <coughs> heated. Lime in turn was a way to describe a fanfiction that was less heated, to put it in a nice way. As language evolves, these terms are not used anymore. So as language evolves, you need to teach your AI what words are acceptable and what words are not. Another example would be cat or the 1500s version of cat. The point is the AI needs humans constantly to respond to reports so that it can learn what is acceptable and what isn't. But as I said, there is no report button in Star Stable. The only way to report any one game is to physically take a screenshot, go out of the game, go to their website, open a ticket, report the player, 
add screenshot and pray to Azathoth, eater of worlds, that SSO does something because their customer support has been atrocious for years. What all of this boils down to is there probably aren't enough reports being made for the human moderators to properly teach the AI. And this is why we're in this mess. But it gets better. AI is not infallible. In fact, it's kind of stupid at times. In an article from PC Mag in 2019, it stated that there was a Facebook user who streamed the shooting of 51 people. It would take over an hour for Facebook's AI to flag this as problematic, and it would take even longer for the re-upload of the video to be taken down. The article explains what happened. It had to do with, with context and intent. And I quote, Facebook could have trained its AI on plenty of violent scenes from movies to enhance its moderation abilities. But this would have only confused the AI because it wouldn't be able to tell the difference between movies and real violence and would have blocked both. This is because one of the most pressing problems facing neural networks is their inability to understand context and intent. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg explained this in layman's terms in a call with analysts last year in which he said, it is much easier to make an AI system that can detect a nipple than it is to determine what is linguistically hate speech. All of this is further complicated by language. In another article from ComputerWeekly.com from 2023, they state that AI simply isn't good at filtering and moderating when it comes to languages and nuance. Eugenia Siapera, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, director of the Center for Digital Policy at University College Dublin says, let's say the system operates in English, but what kind of English is that? Is it the American one? Is it the British one? Is it the Irish? She cites the word traveler, which in Ireland represents a recognized ethic group, but may not have the same meaning elsewhere in the world. That kind of variation would be hard for a totalitizing automated system to spot." End quote. Now let's apply all of this to 14 different languages. I think Star Stable is praying to Azathoth again. In very short, AI technology is really only there to moderate the worst of it. Human moderators must be made part of the process to ensure that the moderation is kept up to date and efficient. Otherwise, it will start to break down and situations like these will become more and more common. To be clear, Facebook has a mere moderation team. They can't do it without humans. And because Star Stable's online report system is so poor, it means that most reports just don't happen. On top of that, many of these discussions are happening in private, so they can't get reported. So the AI can't learn. Remember, these are only the ones being shared openly. We have no idea what is being said behind private chats and club chats. And this brings us, of course, to the greatest danger for kids desensitization. In an article from Gab, Online Grooming, What Every Parent Should Know, it breaks down the different stages of child grooming. Step four is the one we're going to look at today. Stage four, predators desensitize their victims. Groomers might discuss explicit sexual content, tell dirty jokes, share pornography, or ask about the victim's sex life to try to desensitize kids. This makes their eventual sexual advances seem more normal. Research shows online groomers tend to move faster than in-person predators, often introducing sexualized content within 24 hours and sometimes within 30 minutes." End quote. With this in mind, let's take a look again at some of the posts being shared. These are desensitization posts. Even if they are being shared between children, it comes down to the same thing. These children are going to be far more susceptible to online grooming than a child who has not been exploited to this type of discussion. And all of this is very possible in Star Stable Online, with a girl having been kidnapped in 2019, with predators openly asking for unclothed pictures for hacks in SSO, and a whole slew of other degenerates waiting in the wings. It is terrifyingly normal to have kids be exposed to this kind of thing. But what makes it worse is that SSO deliberately promises parents that their kids will be safe. But really, only their personal information is safe at the end of the day. There's a lot more to cover, like the article they posted in 2022 on their website saying how amazing their AI system is because it encourages people to be nice to each other. I'm not diving into that. But the fact is, human moderation didn't work, or rather the way they implemented it didn't work. So much wrong with this, and it appears the human moderation still isn't working because a report button is sorely needed to help the AI. There is some movement with the report button. On the 17th of April 2024, Australia did finally get a report button feature, with a promise for Sweden, Ukraine and Russian servers to follow suit. I went through all the news posts after this date, but couldn't find any further updates for it. I'm happy that they are starting to implement a report button, but it is very slow going and they're going to need manpower to help this AI function and to ensure the reports are adequately resolved. But this brings me to the next problem. I really don't think SSO can implement a proper human moderation team. And that really all comes down to a simple fact. 
Star Stable is in a lot more trouble than we realize, and that will be covered in part two.